Hello everybody, I'm Arden. Welcome to my very first Build of the Month episode. As I stated in my 50th episode anniversary special, I wanted to start doing this series because I wasn't meeting one of my primary goals for even making videos in my Enigmatica series, and that was getting better as a builder. So I decided to switch back over to Minecraft 118, the Cliffs and Caves 2 version, and try to do so. And as such, I generated a new world and found this nice little peninsula with a big hill in the center that I decided to build a little port type city on. And I'm going to start by building like a dock and a harbor master type building here. Now, I'm mostly doing this off the cuff. I did kind of do some small amount of planning. As you can see, I put some frameworks down for where I wanted to build, and I picked out some colors and some designs that I kind of wanted to work with. But for the most part, I'm, I'm building this just live. You're seeing all of my mistakes happen in real time, pretty much. Because my goal isn't to be perfect. My goal isn't to be the best. My goal is to actually get better. And as such, if you see this and you have any comments, any ideas, any criticisms at all, let me know because I'm super open to actually getting better at what I'm doing. Like one of the big flaws you're going to see in this episode is I get very stuck on earth tones, specifically like grays and browns and whites. I'm getting better at like doing ruining to create like the street structure and like the wood designs to do some gradient type work with. But I'm not perfect at it. I'm not great at it. This is all stuff that does not come easy to me as evidenced by like I was been watching uh, Ethos's new modded Minecraft series recently and he he always just drives me absolutely nuts because he makes it look so so amazingly easy to do just absolutely gorgeous buildings do them completely asymmetrically use a whole humongous wide palette of colors in, in a way that it just is absolutely gorgeous I can't do that and I know part of it comes with the fact that he's been doing this for like a decade now and has a ridiculous amount of practice at it. And this just doesn't come natural to me. I like to think I came up with something that I personally like in this design, but like it all still feels kind of rudimentary to me. And I'm just not quite there yet in any of my work. So if you have any comments, absolutely let me know. I am super, super open to criticism because I've got a long road to hoe on this case. Like if you look at what I'm doing, you can see that I'm putting up these torch lights. This is a standard design that I've seen all over the place. I'm just copying it. This isn't even mine. I can't claim any of this. My dock super rudimentary. I've got the posts in the water, but I don't like have any underarching supports. I'm using slabs in places that are questionable, like in the road. I can use stairs to bridge the road up to the normal height if I want to put something on it. But right now, I can't do things like put a wagon on it if I wanted to. It just doesn't work. I also tend to be stuck in very classical type designs because I'm basically ended up building something that looks like it belongs in like a medieval village at best. Uh, you notice that I did drop like some copper here and I'm going to put some more in it later to get some green color in it just to get some color into the design, but I don't feel like I did a nearly as good enough job with this as I could have. Just because I'm so mired in just realism, and even in my real life, I'm not good at just using color. And when I do, I tend to gravitate towards blues and whites, which, I mean, it, it works, but it's, it's a very generic looking color palette, and it's very easy to use versus more vibrant colors. So I've, I've got some work to do ahead of me. And here's where you get to see all of my mistakes live because I pretty much didn't plan this building out other than the shape. You're gonna get to see me put this log in like four times. But other than that, the, I actually came up with a color palette and the design for it pretty quickly in the scheme of things. This whole build took me a little under two hours to do. So I don't feel too bad about the progress I made, although obviously this isn't creative and not survival. So the scope of the work is significantly less from that perspective, but I don't feel bad about what I did overall here. Now that said, I could have recorded this time lapse a little bit better because the camera work on it's not the world's greatest. That's another thing I've got to get good at. For the record, the only mod that I have installed right now is the replay mod to do these time lapses with. I'm trying to keep this as close to the actual vanilla experience right now as I can. 
as mentioned in the the 50th video I it, part of it's the the actual color palette and texture palette and choices in Enigmatica and modded Minecraft as a whole is just it's too much like if I keep it down to the vanilla experience my my choices are a lot fewer to work with which makes design decisions a lot easier from that perspective versus me trying to build anything in Enigmatica and get getting stumped and sitting there for hours just trying to figure out like colors for a building and then reverting to gray and white like I did with my advanced rocketry building. So uh, hopefully this turns out better though. Now one of the things I do need to work on however are interiors. Like the interiors for this building, not that impressive. I need to go watch some more of the Hermitcraft videos and pay more attention to people like uh, B-dubs and Etho do because I'm not good at filling out the inside of buildings at all. I'm sure there are plenty of other people's videos I could be watching too. Uh, drop me some links, people. I know some of you have watched a lot of other people's videos over time. I could use some somebody who's good at this just as a point of reference. But overall, I was going for like a two-tiered like Harbor Master type building directly next to the deck that has a, de a deck sitting off the end to stare out into the harbor with. Once I did that though, I was kind of stumped with what to actually finish it out with looks-wise. I just was out of ideas other than putting uh, barrels and chests and compost uh, barrels in it just to give it a look at the area was at least somewhat used, but like I'm, I'm not good at Minecraft furniture. I'm not. I tend to rely on mods for that, unfortunately. Like you're seeing me here put down a couple lanterns and then a desk and a chair and then some boxes in the back and then I'm going to call it good for the most part. But there's so much more I could do with this room. I feel like I probably should partition off part of this room or put a wall up through part of it to block off the area with the stairs and then maybe put a party room or something up on the deck. But I'm, I'm just kind of at a loss, honestly. I, I hope to clean this up sometime after we finish. And that's my build. A little dock sitting next to a Harbor Master's office on a small street. Now obviously I changed the way the dock looked because it turns out I didn't actually like the pattern on the dock the way it turned out. The two colors didn't seem to work together very well for making it look like, you know, older rotting wood. Uh, compared to the, the coloration I did on the roof, which it works over there, plus it felt like I reused it when I did the roof and didn't look as good. I'm not as happy with this being solid dark oak. I feel it, it just becomes too brown and there's nothing breaking it up and there's no other design in it, so I need to rethink what I'm doing here at some point. I could use some suggestions there. I'm, I'm actually not sure what to do at this point to make that look a little bit better, but that's where we're at with that. With the, the Harbor Master's house here, I feel like I did a pretty good job with depth and a little bit of asymmetry, at least with the door and some of the other stuff. It's still, the building itself is still mostly symmetrical, which isn't ideal, but the top and bottom aren't, and the front isn't entirely either. And I, I feel like I at least did enough to give it some accent colors to at least differentiate it when you see it right off to give it a little bit of uh, personality. Coming I mean, inside, you can see that I did do some decorations. I added some books over there, but like this room is still pretty empty. I'm, I'm not entirely certain what to do with this room overall. There's a whole lot of open space here and I feel like I should actually like put a partition in or a second room where I do the gradient shift between the blackstone and the deep slate walls, which I did just to break up the colors in the room. That said, coming upstairs, you can see that there's nothing up here but lanterns. It's boring. And stepping outside isn't much better. But all in all, for my first build, doing this, I feel like I actually did a decent job. It's not, you know, massive in scope, but the goal wasn't to build necessarily big. The goal was to build better. And I feel like I'm starting to slowly get there. And hopefully over the course of the next, I don't know, months, years, I will. And I know it comes with practice and just from doing it, which is why I'm doing this in the first place. Anyhow, as always, I'm Ard. Thank you for watching and have a good day.